Hi friends, welcome back. Hope you're doing good. As always, as usual, I'm also good. So friends, today we are going to see a new company into our potential stock list of the year. And that company is OK Play India Limited. I want to explain what basically the company is doing. And I'm also going to say why I think OK Play India Limited could be one of such potential companies that we might look towards in the future right so basically ok play india trading in the range of almost 14 rupees as well as having a market capitalization of almost 418 crores yes i know people will say again a small cap company but for me i think uh, the real value here is that how the company is going to turn it tights in a positive way and we are going to see it so basically ok play india is the one and only listed toy manufacturer in india i mean there are many toy manufacturers in india but i am speaking about the in listed category okay so ok play india is one of the major uh, what's it what's a major company in toy manufacturing segment and it's a listed company in india the first reason is that we know the recent uh, election result that has been out and i think a specific uh, what say manifesto was given that there is going to be uh, somewhat how to say somewhat in how to say in in, in, a, in a kind of positive way for development of local toy manufacturing in india okay and that is really going to help okay play india if the government comes with such a policy in the near future the second thing is that not only OK Play India Limited is manufacturing toys, but it also has three main business. We are going to three to four main business. I think top three main business we are going to see. OK. And the first thing is that the as I should say, the company is in toy segment and uh, that's really a, an important thing. OK. And the second thing what you want to see is that automotive components. Yes. This company also supplies the automotive components and it is one of the largest manufacturer of plastic fuel tanks producing 250 lakh annually. Okay, and that is one of the important things that I am seeing in automotive components and which which gives us an, another important thing which is nothing but the next segment what the company has mainly done. I think this is one of the important things apart from toys the electric vehicle segments so this company has ventured in, into ev space in 2015 and company operated through five contract manufacturing plants i mean clearly understand five contract plants and commenced partnership with hero motor company starting from jan 24 hero moto okay and this is really a very very important thing from jan 24 and why i'm stressing on this point is that in these coming quarters, we would see a revenue shift, incremental shift in EV segment if Hero Motor is going to make sure the sales is going to be a much larger thing. Okay. And also this company is in the way of selling a B2C to dealer networks, B2B fleet operations, etc. Okay. And I think what we want to see here on the front side is that everything is going to be good and their business model is good promoter holding is good i think if you see out of the market capitalization of almost 418 crores the free float of market is just only 163 crores so which means almost near to 70 percent has been held by promoter and that is one of the important things thank you friends and back